should all be good. Problem? Okay. for a 2v2. I think that's everything. See no reason to not get a move on. How's everybody doing? Let me know if there's something wrong with the camera because I can't see it on my phone. And, you know, if there's anything else going wrong, then, yeah, tell me. But I think everything's set up correctly. So, we've got a series of Lego Man games. He's running Squirrel Pigeon Falcon Snake Balloon Arty against Lizard Pigeon Falcon Badger Wire Machine Gun from Mocachino. Not a usual deck, especially not for him. It looks almost like um, <coughs> a pile deck. Or some variation. Pyle usually ran, um, I don't think Pyle ran the Falcons. And sometimes he even didn't run the Pigeons, but this seems to be broadly a Pyle deck with the Barbed Wire Lizard and the Badger. Legoman, though, Legoman's also not running a typical deck. Um, like Balloon Arty, so putting a lot of his deck towards defense, but not having a tier 3 to build behind that. Or even really any siege like ferrets. Um, he's only got the snakes. So the only thing he's got for scaling really is mass falcon. Oh, no. It could be random. Maybe they did random. I mean map wise for Legoman this is actually not bad. If he gets one arty in the middle of the map he cuts off this. He can put pressure on Mochaccino's uh, expansion, maybe even his main. Um, he's got a nice pocket base behind him to rely on. He can conceivably expand out into the middle here, even if he really wants to push, because then he can put pressure on on his actual on Mochaccino's actual main base, or he can just expand down, which will be easier for him if he's got the map control by uh, putting defences in the centre, which he can do without even leaving his territory. I think the balloon all the way back here is way too conservative. You, If you're running this deck, you want to be putting them right in your opponent's face so they can't get out of their own territory. And he'd have the time to do it because Mocachino has put down a badger, a very quick badger, before he even expanded. Now, is Legoman going to scout this? If he does, he can counter that. He's got the falcons, he's got the snakes, he's got the balloons. All of which are viable counters to Badger. But Mokuchino doesn't need to push. Like, Legoman has no real threat to move out with. So Mokuchino is going to be fine just holding on this base with his Badger. Playing it defensively. Maybe stacking more Badgers. He, uh, Mokuchino may not want to wait too long. Because um, eventually... If Lego Man just keeps on putting balloons down, he'll just become unbeatable. Or this will end up with like a 5 mil starvation game. Ow. I still don't like this balloon, it still bothers me. So Mocachino has the Badger out. I sold all the Lizards to replace them with Pigeons. Ooh. Is he going to be able to hold here? Uh, yeah, those machine guns kill most stuff. If 
including the snake, which is big. There are pigeons out to heal the badger, which is starting to get some rev. Two snakes for Lego Man. He's put down a second snake woman. He's going to get up to three pretty soon. Is that going to go straight to four? Yes, it is. And finally, Lego Man starts building the balloons out. But Mokuchino has already tried to take the third base. Seems like he'll have the opportunity to secure it. Lego Man can put a lot of pressure on with artillery, though. Because that will force an engagement from the Badger, who he really doesn't want to do against these four snakes without a decent number of lizards backing it up. Lego Man straight into the RT, but he's not put it in a way that actually is going to be able to hit any mill. However, it will still be useful. Um, dealing with the lizards. I think the RT should better go on that corner so it can actually hit these worms and this mill maybe. Okay, the badger trying to get some work done. Um, it's finally got its full rev. It just, it can't, it's really trying to get around these snakes. The Legman doesn't want to sell the RT. Taking this fight, there's only one poison, two poison tanks on the badger. Is that going to be enough? It does reset every time the unit takes damage, and the badger does die. It gets significant damage done clearing out the RT and two balloons, but it does die. Legoman going up to six snakes. Both players still fully saturated on their second base, but Mokuchino with a third and with an extra farm. And selling the badger going for mass lizards, which is good here. The snakes aren't going to do well against mass lizards. The balloons aren't going to do well against mass lizards. The RT is uh, Lego Man's only hope here, but he's not able, he's not got time to set it up. He should maybe consider just spamming his own tier one, going with squirrels, but he really is running out of time here. And Mokuchino is not building up to his full lizard count. He might not need to though. He's got enough eco to keep this tier 1 stream coming in. Finally starting to get supply blocked, but getting some damage done. Knocking Legoman down to just 3 tier 1 warrants. He's trying, Legoman's trying to get another arty up. There's no way this is allowed, right? I mean, Mokuchino has the lizards, he's not shown any fear pushing, he is taking a bit of time to eco up, but now this is the reverse of what I predicted where uh, Mokuchino has got the map control and Lego Man's struggling to expand. This RT, I mean, Mokuchino still has time to push, but it's getting close. This could be a big mistake. If Lego Man can leapfrog these arty cannons back into the middle of the map and get map control, he can take care of this mill pretty quickly. Now he does have a time limit because this far uh, this mill will start to fallow. Mokuchino taking this fourth base. Lego Man has got this third with two farms on it. Mokuchino could easily just run his lizards over and destroy this, um, but hasn't actually spotted it, which is a big blunder. Now Lego Man can much more securely cloak. He's going to come around and get some farm damage done. Mokuchino, in the meantime, is going up to three badges. That's quite a lot of farm damage happening at the moment. Mokuchino is just selling loads of lizards. He's just sacrificing this base. Honestly, could have competed for it. Uh, the arty range didn't stretch this far. Neither player getting much scouting done on the other, but Lego Man has seen a double badger. Yeah, Lego Man, I was about to say, should just tap all of the pigs and finish this off. The mill will stay standing, so Mokuchino can use it for starvation, but, you know, it's still empty. Okay, Lego Man trying to get some more poking done. He's still on eight farms, he's got a lot of eco down on his third. Which Mokuchino still somehow. Hang on. 
there we go. Moccacino still somehow hasn't scouted this, but he should notice that the uh, territory on this mill isn't going far enough. He, sh he has the clues to figure out there's a mill there. Not least because there's no way Legoman wouldn't be in starvation by now if he was truly just on these two bases. Because yes, Moccacino did scout that this farm, this base was fully saturated. So both players, I mean Moccacino's got his fourth base actually fully set up. Legoman keeping a couple of farms free for starvation in here. Moccacino gets in to check the mill. I mean Moccacino, yeah, he just builds like nine, twelve lizards goes in, he can completely destroy this base with ease and force Legoman to move out of all of this defensive um, support. Legoman going up to eight snakes. Um, that is a lot of snakes for the badgers to deal with. There's three badgers and snakes don't scale too well. It's possible that these badgers carry this, but maybe not with only nine pigeons. Like, Mokuchino really wants a lot of tier one support so that they take the hits. So that the poison tags land on them instead of the tier threes. But he seriously should just bring his army down here. Again, I suppose he doesn't actually need to do anything. If Lego Man can't knock him off of this base, Lego Man will just die. Lego Man will just starve out. I mean, he's got 10 minutes with these two farms, and let's, for the sake of argument, assume he gets the campfire as well. That's another five, so that's 15. But Mokuchino has uh, seven farms, which is 35 minutes, so. He's got a while. He'll win the uh, Battle of Attrition eventually. Though, Legoman is starting to get up to the point where he is actually where the Arties and the Bloons can pressure Mokuchino's infrastructure. And Legoman is now sort of semi permanently under. Undercover. Mokuchino has to be really careful where he positions his army. Could. Could come up through here, up the top. Would that mean walking through the water, which you don't want to do, but would, would get him round the back of the defences and straight onto the Warrens. Oh, well, uh, that farm fallows. Lego Man comes in, is actually starting to get some damage done on the mill. He's going to burst it down pretty quickly with a dozen squirrels. Mokuchino's still not really moving out, but he's kind of let Lego Man build up too much. Okay, so Mokuchino is now going to be the one having to secure the campfire. Mokuchino did at some point scout this mill. He sees that there's two farms available on it. Which means in starvation, Lego Man is one farm ahead. He's got an extra five minutes to work with. This is a nice balloon. Although you could just do um, an arty like on that little tile there. Oh, and Lego Man got a falcon out at some point. And he's gonna come down that mill once again. Now getting on the worms and Mokuchino doing what I suggested, coming in through the water. Taking quite heavy casualties. But the batches are there. And they are revved. Now they cut through all these snakes so they've lost most of the lizard support. Mokuchino's making a mistake by not taking this fight, I think. He doesn't you don't want to take a long fight against snakes. Mega Man is on starvation, however. The 
Badgers are still alive, but there's no support for them, and they've got five snakes to deal with. And all meanwhile, Mochaccino is just bleeding reinforcements. This is not good for him. Mega Man does get back, has put down a, has queued up a farm, needs to sell something. I'm gonna sell this pigeon warrant? Yeah. Okay, so Mega Man's avoiding starvation and Mochaccino just surrenders. I think that's pathetic. If you've got three tier threes out, then you don't just surrender. You try and fight it out. You at least let the tier threes die in glorious battle first. But whatever. That's one win for Lego. We're going to see how many of these four games he ends up winning. So game two is up against Noun Verba and another set of deck. interesting decks. We've got Squirrel, Lizard, Pigeon, Falcon, Cam, Wolf and Noun. That's sort of by the book. Lego Man, Squirrel Falcon, Boar Fox, Machine Gun Arty. So another Arty deck. But the Wolf Fox combo is much is is interesting. Hmm. I think the Boar and the Fox do pair up quite nicely together. They cover each other's weaknesses pretty well. Um, Lego Man is obviously. I mean, he obviously has to get up to that level um, of tech, which might be difficult. He's got no skunks, so he's very vulnerable to sort of early game, early mid game uh, tier one pushes, uh, which are the most common way to lose, I think. A squirrel mole push with maybe uh, one tier two backing them up. Lego Man would really have no easy way to deal with that. Um, he'd have to either get an arty or a boar out beforehand, um, and those can both be tr tricky. And against moles, the arty isn't even that 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 useful. It's why I don't include the machine guns either. Machine guns like tend to get stomped pretty hard by moles. Still, another good map for Lego Man. Because once again, he's close to the centre. If he gets an arty up... He can cover... I mean, he'll defend both of these mills. This one, he'll be putting pressure on this mill. You One arty is going to cover about four mills here. And then you can creep forward to cover all of the extras as well. Lego Man not really... Uh, available to defend. I think his commander died. He wasn't able to defend that machine gun. You want to have your units rallied around it. Because it does contribute a lot of damage, but it can die pretty quickly if there's nothing to uh, support it. Now, now I'm using the ancient technique of walking around the defense. Lego Man coming in, realizing an opportunity. He's going to pick up a pig, maybe two. Just go for the Warrens. In the meanwhile, uh, is that a word? I don't know. Uh, Noun is going for Lego Man's expansion. Does get it as well as the two farms that are on there. Lego Man gets the same. Are we going to get a base race going? Um, I think if it's a, if it is, Noun Verb is going to win. Noun Verb have got far more infrastructure damage though. So Lego Man is desperately trying to get up something. He's got no squirrel ones anymore, can't spawn any units. He's... Oh, but there are still two squirrels coming from the back, and that lets one of the machine guns get up. Although the squirrel does die, but it buys Lego Man some time. And Noun Verb only has two warrants himself. So both players have to go back and rebuild. Lego Man has got his machine guns protecting him. Machine guns coming in clutch right now. No other defensive structure will be causing Noun Verba this much trouble. Um, I mean, obviously, yeah, an arty would diverse, would, would force him to not attack, but you wouldn't be able to get an arty up in time. Like, the efficiency of the machine gun is really coming to play. But Noun Verba with the walk around the defense strategy once again, gets in, snipes the pig. A few lizards are going down for it, but he comes back, gets a second pig, okay that's going to be all the lizards. 
a couple of reinforcements die on the machine guns. But still, that's two farms ahead for Noun Verber in a tight game. Both players retaking their expansions. I mean, Noun. Noun can just come all the way up here and get straight onto the pigs or warrens, whichever he prefers. And Noun should be safe, since Legoman is relying so heavily on static defense, Noun Verba should be safe to sell um, quite a few warrens and put it straight into Eco, which is what he's done. He can't sell too much because Legoman is actually getting up a decent warren count of, him, of his own. But I don't think Noun wants to really push here. Don't know why he hasn't taken this upper route with his lizard zone. You definitely don't want to try and come in straight here, because that's where they're strongest. So, Legoman's fully saturated, now Verba on 7. Legoman can now start arty creeping, and now Verba isn't going to have a great answer to that. But it's going to take a bit. It's going to take a while. Legoman can't just build straight out on the front lines against this much tier 1. putting his RT very far back, but it's still going to cover um, at least two mils. <laughs> Mega Man going to take those six lizards for free. Why wouldn't you? And now looking at his third base. If I was Lego Man, as soon as this uh, arty goes up, I would be putting another one as far forward as I can, sort of around where these uh, stairs are. Instead, he's going for the fox, which is unusual because he's not seen anything from Noun that the fox would be good against. Noun has just had a lot of tier one. Maybe he's planning ahead and he expects now to go into tier 3 or tier 2, which he is. These falcons will be juicy targets for the fox. The cams, uh, I mean, it'll be good if the fox can grab them, but have to be cautious. And this arty up here, um, I mean, it's not pointless. Defends this top right, this top route from some sort of lizard drive by. Could just dive in on the mill and kill it, but the machine guns have basically got that handled. If you just sell this machine gun and move it up there, it's pretty much blocked off already. <clears throat> All right, now I'm abusing the cliff there. off a nice quick corner farm. He's also taken his third base and put some kept up with farm counts. Now what's he gonna do against this fox? Which has already got one 
one pig. We want 80 food for the fox. Probably not going to be able to keep count for long, but like doing it while you can. Okay, is this fox going to run straight into the cans? Yes. with it so that's about 140 food for a 180 food unit so not a great trade could be worse but not great and this is a very dangerous mill now Verba should easily be able to destroy that if he ever finds it which I'm pretty sure he knows about already he knows that there's a mill there and he saw Lego Man send his commander down there. Now Verba should find that. Going for the wolf. Makes sense. Keep you... Means you can run down the fox easier. Legman sold both his arties at some point. When did that happen? He's rebuilt this one in the middle. And is expanding it... Sending his second one further out. Which is good. Still think he could be pushing it farther. But... Here's what it is. I do have a tendency to get my RTs picked off because I put them too far. So, you know, maybe he's the one in the right for being cautious. Okay, Lego Man also getting his boar up. Um, Noun with the Mass Falcon. This fox isn't really getting any value. Like, Lego Man's kind of scared to move it out. Okay, uses the squirrels as bait. Get the fox in range. With this fox, you want constant value. You really, ideally, want to get through all six of these falcons. But Lego Man is so nervous about losing another fox to. The cams. Somehow this mill is still alive and unscouted, and Lego Man has even secured it with three warrens, so Noun is going to have divert, to divert some actual resources and effort down to kill it. Okay, both players floating a lot of food here. What are they going to do with it? And Lego Man getting a fifth mill? Noun is finally scouting this. He can clear through it, but um, whatever he sends down there won't be here if uh, Lego Man moves in, so he's got to be cautious with it. Similar styles from Lego Man with his defense, and quite similar flaws from the uh, opponent, where they don't attack before the defense is. They don't attack where their opponent is weak. They allow him a chance to rebuild his eco and his defenses, and they try and loop round, only to get cut off and completely cut off from their reinforcements. <laughs> you got to keep those supply lines in mind, and yeah. He gets surrounded, lose their army, can't reinforce. GG.
Alright. So, let's go over to this guy's submissions, which also star Legoman, and see if... It's Lego versus the world, and Lego's up 2-0. Let's see if he can keep it going. And it's more artillery. So, Squirrel Pigeon, Snake Wolf Fox artillery. And this guy... I would say is a random deck, but... Random would give you better than that. Pigeon, Ferret, Ball, Fox, Wire, Machine Gun. So this guy is actually running something very similar to QQ's deck, um, but that would have the Lizards instead of the Pigeons, and usually Balloon instead of Machine Guns. But the core of the deck um, is actually recognisable as weird as it looks. Um, it's a weird variation on already quite an off-meta deck. Because, I mean, any deck where you don't take any sort of combat tier 1s is going to be unusual. They're the bread and butter of your army. It can be really hard to defend in the early game without them. And especially double... Espe especially, especially so. I was going to say doubly so... Uh, the point is, that's especially the case if your tier 2 is something like ferrets, which isn't good at fighting off tier 1 or early aggression. I mean, a snake, a cam, any sort of early tier 2 from Legoman would run over it. Um, mass tier 1 in the early game would run over it. This guy has got lucky, or has been very skilled by getting this uh, base. Well, it's lucky that this base is spawned so perfectly. Um, he's able to put pressure on Legoman. It's close enough that he can put pressure on Legoman's main, but far enough away that um, it's got it's hard for Legoman to just run straight over it. This guy has got his machine gun set up. He's getting his ferrets up. Legoman is trying to get an arty straight right in this guy's face, but I think the ferrets are going to shut that down. The ferrets will be out first, or a ferret will be, and it should have an easy time to kill this forward arty. But this guy's wasting time, he wasn't there to micro immediately. Okay, and the shots are coming. Gets a couple, but the arty does go up. How far can the arty reach? It does clear out these machine guns. Squirrels get on the ferret warren. This guy has one ferret at 7 HP. And then a bunch of machine guns. It's gonna be hard it's hard to see how he loses from here. But he has basically taken the entire map. With all these machine guns in the middle, it's quite hard for Legoman to kill either of these two bases. He can take uh, he can take this one if he goes round up here and hits on this corner. Um, but he's also trying to stop this ferret from getting any value on these exposed uh, warrens and arty. That, that arty is actually healing up a decent amount. But it does take another knock. That's going to reset the timer. There are pigeons up to uh, counter this snake poison. The ferret goes for the warrens instead of the arty, which I'm sure this guy doesn't appreciate. These snakes are being given a complete run around. Lucas feels safe enough that he's going to go for a fox, which, I mean, will be helpful here. We'll pick off these snakes, but he's uh, quite far behind in the tier 3 race. There's Legoman, but both his tier 3 warrens built already. Although a wolf and a fox really aren't going to help him bust through um, a line of machine guns. He still only has six squirrels that can shoot that can shoot structures.
the, the squirrels are the only unit in Lego Man's entire deck that can shoot these machine guns. And he only has six of them. This guy could be getting up to four ferrets. I don't know if he lost one. He's lost that one. The wolf is up now, so these snakes are having a much easier time chasing this guy off. so much food here. He just needs to spam squirrels. Although I think this might be more of a uh, model stance than practical at this point. Like seriously, if he just went up to like 12 squirrels, he could whittle these down, no problem. Said he's building more pigeons and more snakes. Fox for this guy manages to find a farm. Oh, and that fox just stays alive. Thanks to the pigeons healing it up instantly. Oh, but no, nope, there he goes. Lego Man gets it on the uh, on the repeat. And this was clever, building a backwards arty. And now, yeah, this guy can move back and fight it, but that means leaving his front line exposed. And even with barely anything that can shoot the machine guns, Mega Man is able to come in and just clear up. Although not actually finish it off. This guy is still alive, still on four farms, still with machine guns protecting his, um, his base. Rebuilding the fox. But losing so many machine guns means Luke, uh, Mega Man is much more comfortable just standing in front of the fire. And he's going to take He's going to take the first game against Lucas, so Lego Man at three, World at zero. That shouldn't be there. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. Alright. So, Lego Man finally dropping the RT as his opponent takes it. So we've got Lizard Toad, Cam, Owl, Wolf from Leg Wolf Machine Gun from Lego Man against Lucas with Squirrel Mole, Cam, Boar, Fox, Artie. Let's see how this works out. 
terms of RT maps, it's um, it's the weakest RT map we've seen so far. Um, as there's no easy central location for Lucas to. What is Lucas's commander doing? I want. I'm, I'm kind of thinking the game might be bugged, but this is also just perfectly in character for Lucas, so it's hard to tell. Um, but as I was saying, there's no central location which can shut off a bunch of mills. Um, if Lucas takes this mill, he can expand into a central location, but that will be at the uh, edge of his range. I think maybe um, just on the corner here, he'll be able to put some pressure on this mill. But there's not much he'll be able to do. However, he is going to quickly pick off Lego Man's fast expansion with the mole. And is the mole going to go for the machine gun? No, it's not quite in aggro range. And this is smart by Lego Man to draw them in with his commander. So he gets um, 50 food for the 60 food, so it's not awful for him. I mean, um, I'll, ch I'll check those screenshots out if you send them to me. Oh, and this guy just going straight up four cams. Uh, Lego Man could just. Lego Man had the opportunity to just jump on this pig. He's still going to get one. But he loses all his lizards for it. And he could have just um, probably won the game if he was quicker. Well, three lizards. I mean, you could have got one off two farms, but in the early game that could be literally the death of But at the moment, this guy with these cams and these moles, Lego Man is almost entirely reliant on machine guns, which are not focused in any one location. I think there's just too much health for Lucas to fail here. I like the quick toad response from Lego Man, but the Warren so far forward doesn't get up. This guy saves one of his uh, cams with a quick decloak. And. Okay, this guy is going to retreat. Could have kept up the pressure, I, thought, I think. I mean, Lego Man only has. Lego Man doesn't have a lot of units. Building more toads, this makes sense. Toads should do well against chameleons. But Lego Man is going to want enough lizards out eventually that he can, you know, do his own pressure. Though maybe that, um, that ship has sailed at this point. Okay, Lucas finally getting some tier 1 up. The squirrels will give him a counter to the toads. Most stuff counters toads pretty, pretty alright, but, you know, I, they have range, whereas the cams don't, so the cams would not be able to avoid taking some taking toad explosions right to the face. Okay, but both players have decided to sort of take their foot off the pedal for a bit and eco up. Both players up to 16 farms. Lego Man going for the owl. Lucas going for a third base. Hmm. Lego Man getting a third as well. Lucas comes in, gets the owl scalped. Okay, well this is like the fourth Lego Man game in a row where there's been a lot of big clashes and then it's looked like someone has already won the game and then they give their opponent a chance to rebuild. Failing to actually kill that chameleon is going to be driving him nuts. Difference, I mean, between two, killing two chameleons and killing three chameleons is a, is a big difference. That, that means, that changes it from an even trade to a profit. 
Okay, so it's been Lego Man who's been given the chance to rebuild in all four games. Is this time he doesn't have artillery, but he does have a stronger late game comp with the Wolf Owl. So is this guy going to break the pattern? He has seen the owls. The Cambor isn't a terrible answer. Um, can tank a lot of mice. Uh, trade with them efficiently, but with no healing, he will get whittled down. Um, he has a lot of squirrels as well, so actually killing the owl itself isn't a problem. Is he going to send anything to kill this mill? He is aware of it, at the very least. But... Mega Man's kind of in a position to uh, defend himself now. Though he does miss Micro a couple of times into that cabin. It's good to get rid of these just so they won't draw the mice. Even if he doesn't want to take them. No, he should probably take this one. There's no point in it. Speaking of the mice getting drawn away, War comes out, does that nicely. Lego Man's army is getting absolutely obliterated. I mean, owls like doing battles of attrition. And there's just so much health to uh, a trophy here. Um, I don't know what the verb for attrition is. Not a trite. Point is, uh, it's actually hard for Legoman to get through all of this health. And he took the fight terribly with all his units coming in a straight line, straight into the poor fire. He's lost an owl, he's going to lose a second. He's lost the Warren, so he can't rebuild them. This is looking like a win for Lucas. I mean, Lego Man, I like the cheeky farm here. I like the never give up attitude, but... Still constantly bleeding the units, and the pigs are going to kill the owl, which is just extra humiliation. And finally, Mega Man's winning streak comes to an end. But still, 3 1 is nothing to be ashamed of. Alright, so that means we got one more game. We got the 2v2 from Premium. Oh my god, that is. Uh, well, I mean, it looks cool, Lucas, but <laughs> a similar problem of it looks like it's hard to actually see shit on it. All right. <clears throat> Let's see how the 2v2s goes. Is it another... No Master Stealth this time. Okay. <coughs> so we got Premium Heart Seed over in the... Uh, the west against Ziggy and this guy over in the east and I haven't seen Ziggy in ages I um I didn't know he still played alright so let's see we got squirrel, lizard, toad pigeon, mole, skunk wolf, badger, owl mine, balloon for team west Lizard, toad, pigeon, pigeon, mole, falcon, ferret, fox, owl, machine gun, balloon, RT14, east. decks all around but that's kind of par for the course with a tier 2 with a 2v2 game um, map wise it's definitely favouring team east they've got much they've got three mills right next to them um, as opposed to team west's one arguably two if you count this which you shouldn't because of the cliff and just 
like it's not as a crow flies this distance it's I have to walk all the way around these trees and this cabin and then come back down distance but that's a mill heart he's going for two quick tier threes up from team west but quick tier three from team east as well Fox versus Wolf Owl. We should definitely go the way of the Wolf Owl, though. Okay. Both players on Team East expanding, getting their... Oh, no, wait, that's not Team East. That's Team West. That's Premium with a Ninja Mill. That's not really a Ninja, because it's right in plain view. Or is it? No, it's not. Hang on. Somehow... Blue and red have not scouted this mill. Uh, is Premium going to get a balloon up here? To put pressure on these farms? No, he's just going to come in with his lizards. Just suicide onto these building farms. Kill one, force a sun on two more. Then send his lizards in for the pigs. I'm not quite going to kill a third. So uh, there is an owl out, the wolf is nearly here, the fox is over halfway. It boggles the mind that somehow this hasn't been scouted, but Ziggy is going to find it. Surely this will be uh, not long for this world. Like, Premium is a 2v2 guy, so I'm loath to criticise, but why wouldn't he just take this mill? Okay, he does take this mill. And, yeah, these moles should be able to just go straight on to that mill and kill it. Um, this guy doesn't want the toes to blow up on that. So he's gonna micro them. Lizards pick up the moles, so that's a bit of a consolation prize there. Definitely would rather have the mill. Heartseed and Lucas fully saturated on 16 farms. Lucas getting up to his own triple owls, but is behind. Heartseed already has two out, and the third is nearly here. Going to be here even quicker with the wolf buff in the Robin. And Heartseed is building a badger as well. Premium leaps up an eco as he just slams down five farms immediately on his new mill. Ziggy has his own second, which he's keeping pace on. The fourth owl for Lucas. Second badger for Heartseed. Neither player, neither team really feel, feeling confident pushing out. I mean, I think if the armies come together, um, Team West should have it. The Badger Owl combination. Especially with the wolf backing up, seems like it's just going to be more powerful. And Team East doesn't have a great answer to the Badger Owl. I mean, the lizards are not terrible, the fox isn't terrible. But Wolf Buff Badger with all of the uh, mice covering for it. That should be, I feel like this should be an easy win for Team West. But maybe not if they bleed out mice like this on. Petty assaults, and then this guy comes in when all four of his owls are fully moused, moist. When they have all of their units spawned, well, it could come down to timing. Is what I'm trying to say here. So, Wolf actually buffing Heartseed's eco instead of anything else. Uh, Team West pretty much 
all tapped out on available farms. Ziggy trying to take down this campfire for some reason. Nearly losing him two falcons, but he manages to pull them back just in time. Getting some poking going on. It's hard to see why the toads are blowing up on. Oh, this is a, a lot of skunk gas. There's six skunks for premium. Going up to oh, the worst. Gonna be eight now, so seven. So that's a lot of skunk gas. Which makes sense. Ziggy has 27 lizards, and then you've got um, four hours worth of mice. Going up to eight hours. The heart is going up to seven. Just taking too much of a toll on TV Sami. These units are all taking damage from someone that I can't tell. Uh, but it's a wolf of badges behind this, just fully revved up, fully safe, just constantly streaming out fire. But uh, I think it's a real hero. And Ziggy, now in starvation, can take this mill up at the top. He's gonna have to sell something. These foxes are just not really contributing anything. They're just killing mice. And now we've got uh, the army split up. The owl. No, the foxes nearly contributed something by killing an owl, but they didn't. And okay, so the army's doing a bit of. Uh, kind of being split up and getting the two, two v ones rather than the proper two v two here. Yeah, I just, uh, with these badges just added into the mix, they're just constantly revved up, constantly putting out the maximum fire rate they can, and there's just no way for Team uh, East to actually reach out. They killed something there, I think it was an L that went down, but it lost a box. I mean, Ziggy is really trying to focus fire on these owls, but it's just so hard. Go for the badges! Nearly dead, actually. Is that going to change things? Probably not, because Ziggy's forfeited. Well, forfeited, I don't think he had any units left. Heartseed died. I think Heartseed starved. Or has the game bugged? Genuinely don't know what's going on, but neither command is moving, so I think the game bugged. Oh no, wait, hang on. No. Did it? I'm not entirely sure what just happened. Okay, so Ziggy got eliminated, then Heartseed starved to death, so then it was Premium versus this guy. This guy had all of the owls, killed the wolves and skunks for Premium, and then marched his army up to Premium's balloons and let them just get pot shots off at him before he surrendered. So I think it's a win for Lucas and Ziggy, technically, but then they did a BM surrender. It's the best I can come up with. That's, that's a confusing one. Oh, well, riddle for the ages. Uh, so that is the last replay I've got for tonight. Ugh. Now, I won't be streaming tomorrow, but on Sunday, I'm going to try and get one out. Because um, I've got a controller, so I'm either going to be doing Outer Wilds to go through their DLC, or um, another game that I've been wanting to play for quite a while. That's more action orientated. Or I might even just, I've been playing Elden Ring again, I might just stream some of that. 
Who knows? But that'll be then. For now, uh, thanks for coming, everyone. And have a good night. Toodles.